So the question 3a, find the mass of a wire in the shape of helix RT equal to cos pi Ti plus sin pi Tj plus 8 Tk, where the T from 0 to 1, where the density of the wire is rho xyz equal to x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Okay, we want to do it okay, uh, using um, software part. Okay. Let me see this one. So from RT, you need to find the R prime T. R prime T, right? Okay. And then you need to find the magnitude of R prime T. And then the mass okay, is actually the integral, okay, the T from 0 to 1, your rho x, y, z, the density function, the density function rho x, y, z, okay, multiply with magnitude R prime T, which is the uh, R prime T and then we get the dt. I mean the ds will become magnitude R prime T dt. So we are going to use okay, now mapper to key in the vector value function. Okay, differentiate and then to get the magnitude and then plug in into here. I mean everything uh, is not okay what you do okay did is only the last step you find manually everything only the last step. Okay, you have to show, okay, you have to show step by step. So here, so restart to clear out all the memory. This one calling the package vector calculus. Cool. So here inside here you get uh, all the okay, function variable under vector calculus package. You can do you see for example the cross product. You can find the curl of f. Okay, and then you want to do dot product divergence. Okay, even though you want uh where. Vector field, vector potential, got one more. Scala, uh, scala potential is your, okay, the fee that you want to, okay, to obtain. Also, they have the function already there. So, first of all, okay, um, okay, then we set coordinate. Cartesian. Okay, and then we call, okay, R, okay, is a function of K T. Okay, this is defined, K okay, the, as a function, huh? So we have cos pi T i plus sin pi T j plus 8 T k. Okay, so we're calling the vector field. You see this one, vector field. Cos k pi t pi pi pi. Pi multiply t. Okay, for component i, component j is sin. Okay, pi multiply t. Multiplication in maple, make sure you press the asterisk there. And then 8 tk, 8 times t. So close the uh, greater symbol, the round bracket. Okay, we want to see um, how to plot. Nah. Plot vector. I'm not sure this one. Okay, then maybe I'm not uh, going to see this one. Okay, and then you can, uh, if this is K, okay, in the vector field, you can try to call back, let's say, if you see call R, they give you, cos R is a function, so you have to call R prime T. Uh, let me see. So this is a, EX is actually the okay, unit vector. In Maple, okay, the, this is the I, this is a I, this is EY is a J, EZ is a K. Okay, and then um, we can find, so we can differentiate, huh? Let's say you can DDT, DDX here, yeah? you can change here, DDT, RT. Mm. 
So you can differentiate k okay, a vector value function. Okay, but here I couldn't find where to find the magnitude of a vector under vector calculus. Huh? Couldn't find where is the which okay, which function is to evaluate the magnitude of a vec uh, vector value function. So okay, I can okay differentiate and then um unfortunately they said is a norm. I Google up is a norm, but norm. N N N norm N O R M N O R Okay, if you don't know okay, anything you can question mark, let's see norm. Okay, they give you the help here. Norm expanded norm. I get set ten. Norm function compute the n norm of the polynomial a in the inter. It's not this one. Okay, you can find at length. Okay, everything, but I couldn't find where is the magnitude of a vector. Okay, so if cannot, then you have to do a bit k okay, and manually, manual k. Okay. You want to find okay, the <coughs> ds is magnitude r prime t dt. Okay. Uh, not this one. So your ds, okay, colon equal for maple, make sure it's colon equal. Okay, is the uh, okay. Because we don't have the variable function, okay, I couldn't find then okay, we instruct it manually. Uh, favorite. The expression, okay, the square root. So then we instruct a little bit manually. Component i, okay. This is a result. Uh, or oh, I put it. This is actually the r. Can I get the r? The r. Okay, testing the component one here. Okay, correct. Okay, the R one is uh, the component one. Then I will okay do it manual. The R component one, you square it plus the R component two, square it plus. Okay, yeah, make sure here. The R component three uh, squared it. So okay, because it couldn't find the variable function, or maybe I mislocate where to find the magnitude of a vector. Then okay, you instruct okay, it a bit uh, uh manual. So okay. From your RT, you can ask okay, uh, Maple to differ differentiate a vector value function, and then I can extract each component of a vector. So this K I, the result of this one, the K mean the differentiation of the RT I store in variable dr. Then when I call in dr one, K you can take out the first component. So K the magnitude of K uh, dr here magnitude of dr, so is a square root. K dr1 squared plus dr2 squared plus dr3 squared. Okay. Okay, but um, this one they couldn't simplify. Okay, they could, um, let's say we put simplify, I think still cannot. Ah, okay, it can simplify, you get pi squared plus 64. Okay, pi squared plus 64. Okay, and then the, okay, in manual, the ds is actually magnitude okay, r prime t dt. Okay, so you need the, this one also a little bit uh, manual. Then, um, okay, oh, okay, then you need, uh, one more, you need to replace uh, here 
the density okay the density is row x y z okay let me open in the word one so that i can copy easily We are going to replace the density functions in terms of the parametric equation so that we can do the line integral of scalar field. Okay. Um, from here, you can insert the text command. should be insert plain text. Yeah, paste it here. So, okay, we are going to replace the row. Let's say row, I put it as a P, colon, equal. Um, okay, but before that, okay. Okay, from the vector value function, component i equal to the x. So, mean the x is a cos pi t. Okay, x is a cos pi okay, t. Right. And then, so y, component j is a equal to y. Component j is equal to y, which is a sin pi t. Okay, component z is 8 times t. Okay, so now you're calling a row, let's say put as a p. Okay, it's a x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Okay, because you already defined x, y, z okay, in terms of parametric equation. Okay, then when you call the row, Okay, x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So it will substitute. Because this one evaluate first. Huh? Cos pi t sin pi x, y, z already okay, assigned as cos pi t sin pi t z, uh, z is 8t. So okay, cos pi t will plug in into the x. Okay, sin pi t plug in into the y. 8t plus it into the okay, z. Uh, so we obtain here. Let's say, uh, simply see whether it can simplify. Because the cos pi t squared plus sin pi t squared, we would, okay, will be simplify it. You get 64 t squared plus 1. Okay, now <clears throat> your integral is actually, you already have the row x, y, z, which is we store in p. So r prime t, we store in uh, ds, and then we need to integrate respect to t, t from 0 to 1. Okay, so now uh, your mass m, which is the integral, integral, so you're using the calculus, okay, calculus, finding the integral, uh, this one. So you integrate, the function f is actually our p, p, okay, integrate respect to, okay, and then uh, p, you multiply by ds, uh, p, multiply ds, then, because ds, okay, and then this one you have dt, oh, yeah. I, I should click the, okay, I click the wrong one, so this one I might delete, this one, the integrate t from 0 to 1, okay, the density function we store in variable p, the, okay, ds is actually uh, here, multiply ds, and then it's integrate respect to t here. So this is the answer that you obtain. So mean step by step. Okay, what you did is only okay, you only key in the last step where you key in okay the density function okay here, okay, the ds, this one. I mean you what you did is actually the last step, what we want you to do in the software manually step by step like this okay so any questions here now question 3b okay and then you may re uh, restart calling restart to clear out previous memory uh, uh, afraid uh, some you use the same variable and then um, mix mix up huh? okay now i copy up to here
So I restart, okay. So calling the with vector calculus package, okay, this one, uh, set the coordinate, okay, is x, y, z, okay, and then uh, this one, so it's 2D, actually manually, show f is conservative, you can just do, okay, this is i and j, okay, enough, okay, just your del del x and then the del del y, the m is a x squared plus y squared, and then this is 2xy. So it's actually del del x, 2x, 2xy minus, you del del y, okay, del del y, x squared plus y squared. Del del x, 2xy, you got 2y, okay, del del y, you have, okay, so 2y, okay. If do, okay, if two dimension, you just do, okay, F is two dimension, the curl you just need two dimension, no need three dimensions. Eh? Okay, but in here, if let's say you put um but the vector field here, if I put uh, only two dimensions, okay, never mind. Okay, what okay, where's the question? Okay, question three B is the vector field is x squared plus y squared. Eh? So now your is a f, huh? okay. Let's say f is a x y, and let's say you if you put it to two only, okay. Show you what is the problem if you think it, this one two dimension only x y, and then f okay is a function of x and y is a vector field x squared x squared okay plus y squared, x squared plus y squared, okay, for component i, and then component j is 2xy, 2 times x times y. Okay, calling back f, x, y, see. Okay, so now this one can be plot. This one in terms of x and y, let's see, we call, we plot to see whether we can plot it. Okay, with plots. So this is 2D. Eh? Let's say, can I plot it? Fill, plot my f, x, y. So let's say x from negative 3 to 3, y from negative 3 to 3. Ah, oh, here. Okay, this one, fill plot, okay? The fun, uh, the vector value function must be x and y. This, and then uh, for equation three a, I'm going to check k okay, because your vector field already in term of k okay, uh, parent uh, parameter t one parameter only. So I'm going to I uh, will check it later on. Okay, how to plot if for equation three a here. So this is a vector field k okay, for f x y. And then um we want to show that. F is conservative, and then we try to use okay, the functions curl, curl. Okay, let's say I call this is curl equal to C, C U R Y curl F X Y. Oh. So they give it unable to match the delimiters. Because okay, the function curl in maple you must evaluate in three dimensions. Two dimension okay, we can do it, okay, but that they built in the curl such that the function must eh, okay oh. Oh. No, you see okay, the curl that you want to call this curl okay, in the vector calculus package, the input vector field must be three dimensions. So that's why. Equation 3b, if using manual, okay, I have to put it into three dimensions. So even though your f is two dimension, I have to add up the component k. So but manual, no need, uh, you're wasting your time. So but this one, because okay, the package curl, they define must be, the vector field must be three dimension. So I got no choice okay, to follow the instructions there. So coordinate must be x, y, z, then f. Okay, I have to define in three dimension and let the component k zero. 
So f is function of x, y, z. So component k is 0. So calling back f is a x, y, z. Component k, okay, component k, k is 0. Okay, now, okay, if now your f is three dimensions, then you have to call okay, the view plot 3D. Okay, and then we'll let you, let's say z equal to, Zero, do, do, zero, whether you can. So if 2D now become like this, uh, 3D. So the, okay. And then now, let's say you call curl. Cause here, uh, suppose this one, I cross I cross J, you get K. Yeah. But they give the component I. So at least K, uh, this one, so you get the zero, K zero vector. So you have shown that F is conservative vector field. Okay, find a potential function phi. Yeah? Okay, we, ha we have actually the built-in function phi here. Phi using the built-in function, which is actually the scalar potential. Okay, I can call, let's say, phi scalar potential f, x, y, z. You can get the phi directly, one-third x cubed plus y squared x okay or you can instruct it manually okay as what you did uh, let me this one this one better writing okay or okay we can instruct it a bit okay uh manual mean phi let's say a label as phi one is to integrate component i respect to x, the x, and then phi two, you integrate a uh, component j to x y respect to y, and then phi uh, you manually get the result here, combine it. Okay, so now if you want to do a bit okay, manual, let's say phi one. You integrate, where's the integrate? Uh, integrate the component here. Component, um, the f kick at the component number one, respect to x. Uh. I mean, the, let's say, just now how we're calling. Uh. Just now, this one is not function. If function, let's say f, x, y, z, component number one. Now, okay, you see, yeah, this one, because the f is a function, uh, I'm going to call in the component number one of the f, okay, which is x squared plus y squared. Okay. So you see this one. If just now uh, I do it like this, dr colon equal, this is just normal expression. This is not vector. So I dr, okay, to get the first component, so dr the square bracket one. Okay, but vector f is a function. Okay, so I have to call, okay, the function. Because you can see uh, if you call f, okay, they're not recognized. Huh? Because you define colon equal this one x y z close the bracket okay the arrow so this is a function so f is a function to call function you have to f x y z to call the first component then you square bracket one so v one v number two also you can integrate okay the second component respect to y and then your v So you have to manually combine one third x cubed plus okay, x y squared 
okay and then add up new term so this is a uh, okay already exist though so don't don't x up so that's why your fee you obtain okay as what okay the built-in functions scala potentials there okay you obtain okay uh okay this is directly using the built-in function scala potential under the vector value pack uh, vector calculus okay uh, package there okay after you obtain the fee okay um the easy we make it as a function call it equal x y So now, okay, this one I make it as a function. Fy1. Okay. Okay, that this is okay, evaluate everything. This one close. Oh. Well, I got one here. Where is one come here? Mm -hmm. Where is the one here come from? Okay, that might. And then, uh, that calling back. Fee. Evaluate the fee. To find the work, okay? Then your W is actually uh, work. Evaluate the work done by the force field on a particle that move from negative two two to one zero. So mean you evaluate uh, the work K okay? W is a fee x y z from negative two 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 one zero okay so now okay so oh. okay so v we want uh the bottom is where where is it Okay, upper limit is uh, 1, 0. So, V, 1, 0. Okay, deduct V, negative 2, 2. But here, I couldn't see what, why I got uh, 1 third here. One and then one third. Okay, we check back. Okay, the answer should be correct. Okay. Okay, we see this one. The function is one third, one third x cube plus y squared okay if okay and then calculate x is 1 y is 0 you get one third okay and then you calculate um okay mean we call this one first okay correct Answer one third. Okay, calculate when x is negative two, y is two. Okay, four over three. Mm. Mm, the answer. X is negative two. Y is two. Four over three, but 
okay maple negative 3203 because here this one where's this one come from uh? No, I key in uh in the calculator wrong. Is uh, okay. One third x cubed plus x y squared. So calculate again x negative two, y two. So negative thirty two over three. Negative thirty two over three. And then you calculate when x is one, y is zero. So one third. So one third. Okay, minus negative 32 over 3. That's why the answer, okay, 11. Uh, 11 because total is 33 over 3. Uh, but here, I, I don't know what, what is the 1 here come from. So, okay, using this one, the scala, okay, uh, you may, okay, scala potentials, okay, directly, you get the fee is 1 third x cubed plus, okay, x y squared. Okay, so after that, you have to evaluate, okay, the work, okay, using the, okay, uh, using your software that you use. I mean, okay, you have to make the fee as a function, then easy for you to calculate, okay, when x is 1, y is 0, x is negative 2, y is 2, in order to get the work, okay. So this is the question, uh, question 3b, question 3b. So, and any questions here? Okay, if not, we look at the question 3C, verify Green's theorem, okay, verify Green's theorem, okay, by evaluating, okay, both integrals. So, mean you have to evaluate, okay, left side, right side. So, again, uh, to evaluate the left side, okay, you need, okay, um, the parametric equations, huh? and this one, you have curve C1, Left side, uh, you have to do two work, okay, C1 and then C2. C1, okay, Y equal to X cubed, then let the X equal to T and then Y equal to T cubed. T cubed. So you have to do it, okay, step by step. So question 3C. Question 3C. And then, first of all, I may restart to clear everything. And then, x equal to t, y will be equal to t uh, cubed. Okay. So, x is t, y is t cubed. You want to find okay, uh, the line integral along c. You have to, have to evaluate along the c1, along c1. So this is 2x squared y dx plus x cubed dy. Okay, so you have to evaluate this one, 2x squared y dx plus x cubed dy. Okay, and then to do that, from x here, you can find dx is actually your ddt, so your ddt, the x. Well, you get 1. Okay, and then, uh, okay, you can put it like this, dx, then you multiply dt. So dx equal to dt, and then y is t cubed, your dy will be, okay, you d t y, because dy dt, so dt I bring out here. So dy is 3t squared dt. Okay, and then the m is a function, okay, at the m is here. This one. m is 2x squared y. 2 times x squared. Okay, multiply y. So they okay. Since you already define x is t, y is t cubed. So total you are two t power five. And then define the n. 
n here. n is okay, x cube. This is the n. n is x cube. Huh? So n x cube. So it's t cube and then the integral you got integral m okay uh d okay I either m dx plus n dy oh we want to this integral uh, not this one okay okay and t okay from here this one x from 0 to 1, so t from 0 to 1. Okay, let me see whether m dx plus n dy, it can evaluate. It hmm, cannot call back the dy here. I'm not unable to pause. Oh, here. Yeah. Also cannot. Okay, what I'm going to do is like this. F. Invalid product or quotients. Okay, M is actually two T five. Okay, I want to make. M multiply DX. Why? Oh, yeah. Dx equal to dt. Eh? Okay, now can because uh sometime you cannot see the variable this one. A bit italic just now the x is uh, not italic so so now m dx can so this dx so total you have 5 t power 5 so m here okay 2 t power 5 n multiply dy so 3t squared time here, so 3t5, so total is 2t5 d5. Then I integrate f. Okay, f is m dx plus n dy, and then integrate f k dt. Okay, calling again the single. Okay, 0 to 1 f dt so you get 5 over 6 oh okay or oh, uh, this one dx no need to put dt here cos k um F here already got dt. See, yeah. Cause F I already have dt, you dt again. This F. Okay, I think maybe this part, uh, no need to multiply dt. 
Okay, dx here, we no need to multiply dt. Then, okay, f here don't have dt, we only the dt at the, the last k integral. Okay, so this one. Differential t. Okay, just now can. Sometimes it's like this, I'm huh, F, okay, uh, I don't want this one. I want to integrate 0 to 1, integrate respect to t. Uh, so 5 over 6. So even though a uh, manual, okay, this one should be dx is d dt, the x look here, you got dt, okay, and we got dt later on here, dt here, 2 dt. So that's why, okay, dx is actually x equal to t dx k okay, uh, exactly i just differentiate t here one dy 3t squared 3t squared so m dx and dy i add up dt k okay, at the last so this is the first k <coughs> in the on curve c1 let's say put c1 okay c1 is 5 over 6 and then repeat to get the on curve c2 then you add up Okay, this is the left side of the line integral. Okay, C2. Okay, C2. C2 from y equal to x. So, I mean x equal to t, y equal to t. So, x equal to t. Okay. Okay. X equal to t. We got here. And then y also equal to. Y also equal to t. Okay, and then M same, N same, okay. So this is a curve C2, C2. Okay, C2, in, okay, X move from 1 to 0. So T move from 1 to 0. Okay. So 1 to 0. Okay, and then so, okay, the line integral, okay, result, let's say uh, the curve C will be C1, C1, add up with C2. So 1 over 12. Okay, 1 over 12, okay. And then you may, okay, so the left side, you obtain 1 over 12. Now, okay, the right-hand side is actually the Green's theorem, the Green's theorem. Okay, you need to show, okay, uh, in man, uh, software, how you delta x, x cubed. And then minus delta y to x squared. Okay, so the function f that to be integrant is your delta x. Okay, finding delta x k okay, your m, right? Uh, delta x n component n your delta x minus your delta y. Okay, change it to y delta y component. M. So you have three t squared. Yeah, because we're uh, we're plugging uh everything in term of t, so you directly get three t squared. Ooh. Oh, so that's why. Okay, sometimes we need to restart. Uh. Okay, we want to clear the x and t just now. Okay, so here I restart to clear the memory. Then calling back M and N. Okay, I restart. Okay, calling back M N. So you see this one? They're the X X cube. Okay, 3x squared, delta x, x cubed, you got 3x squared, delta y, 2x squared, y, so you have minus 2x squared, the answer is x squared. x squared. Okay, and then now uh, you can put up your double integral, where the f, okay, already found, dy dx, okay, y, Lower limit is y equal to x cubed. Upper limit is upper curve y equal to x. Uh, then you put up, okay? Okay, lower limit of y is x cubed. 
upper limit is y equal to x and then sums of vertical bar from left point which is x0 up to the right point which is x equal to 1. 0 up to 1. So you get 1 over 12. Okay, this is okay, right hand side using the um, using the Green's theorem. And then just now, okay, evaluate the line integral, okay, uh, using parametric equation, you have to do it two times, okay, divide it into curve C1 and curve C2. Mm. So that is the equation C. So mean, okay, <clears throat> we have the vector field, let's say it's x, y, z, and then given the vector, uh, the RT is cos pi T sin pi T R K, cos pi T I sin pi T J and X T K K. So we are going to plug in uh, okay, the vector K field in term of parametric equation in order you to do the line integral f dot dr f dot dr. So x is a component i of the okay, vector R T, and then component y. Say component okay, y is a okay, component number two of the vector value function. Okay, and then uh, the z. Okay, z is a component number three. Okay, z is component number three of your vector value function. We, this one we see whether correct. Okay, and then now calling back again. Okay, f x y z. Okay, it will plug in. Cos pi t sin pi t x t. Then see whether they can do the dot product. Okay, the r t is here. D r. Okay, now I'm going to check okay, whether you can do the dot product. Okay, dot product for f x. Y, Z, and DR. We cannot do. Mm. Okay, it can uh, got some format not tally. Because this one, uh, suppose I should get in. Okay, calling back this one. I should have the component x, y, z there. f, x, y, z. Okay, I okay, restart again to clear the memory. With vector calculus, set the coordinate x, y, z. Okay, correct. Okay. But when calling back, Oh, I cannot f colon equal. I just call back f x y z. Ah, uh, not correct. Just on the mistake. Okay, I cannot. Um. Okay, the mistake is I f colon equal x y z. I should just call back f x y z. So it will substitute x y z in terms of parametric equation into the vector. Okay, into the okay the function f x y z, which is a vector field. So now you see this component i, component y, component j, i, j, k, sorry. And then uh, we're calling back the rt, correct? So it finds the dr, find the dot product. So you get, okay, now 64t. Okay, then you can do the, the line integral of vector field f dot dr we already obtained here okay let's say we call it this is a function f uh, uh, then you integrate the f okay dt t let's say from 0 to 1 so you obtain it so means okay for this one to do the line integral 
the f okay you can initially define in terms of x y z later on you find okay write down the parametric equation for your x okay what's the x what's the y what's the z I mean like here just put for example okay give you the vector field is x y z okay when i call back okay this is correct defines the rt rt and then you can call back okay uh, let the x okay, parametric equation for x is a component um, here or you may define your own and then put back you may reverse huh? let's say x is a cos pi t y is sin pi t z is 80 and then you define the rt this is a okay, component i here you put this is x this is y this is z also can okay and then you just okay uh, and then okay calling um, back RT to confirm whether your okay, vector is correct. So DR, you DDT your RT, then you can use the dot product of F DR, then integrate F, okay, this is the dot product respect to T, okay, T from where to where. Okay, this is for your, okay, uh, here. This one, I think, um, Use Stoke theorem, huh? I think maybe you not use this one. You'll find the curve of F easy. Cause the intercept one one one. You got three curve C one, C two, C three. If you evaluate the line integral, okay, you have C one, C two, C three. You need to evaluate three time. So okay. Better you okay evaluate the Stoke theorem. Means the okay double integral curl of f dot n ds okay along the surface s is bounded by this okay, tetrahedron surface. Then you can okay do curl of f here. Okay unit normal vector. Then you have to define it okay manually. Okay how you define the n. So the end, okay, you got is actually after we cancel, okay, simplify with the ds is actually unit normal vector which is pointing up. You have a negative z x. This is negative z y. This is component case one, and then this is a d a. It comes a del cos f over region r. So. Okay, you need to find curve of f. Then okay, you find this one. Get okay, get up your z. Okay, where's the z? Okay, equations there. Then find the z x, z y, and then doing the dot product. So okay, you need to curl of f and then dot. Okay, dot product. This is f one vector. This is a, another vector. Dot product and then evaluate the double integral. So that is for equation d. Equation c c. Okay, you need to find the Gauss theorem. You use the okay the <coughs> divergence. You got divergence also here. Divergence. Okay, let's say your vector f is here. Just now your vector f. Then we call the divergence. V i v r divergence of f x y z. Cause okay, the f x y z. Uh, okay, I should from the initial one. Put up here, easy to see. X y z. Uh. Okay, I restart back. Okay, with calculus set coordinate. F x k the vector f is x i plus y z plus z k. Okay, divergent of f k we got three. Cause del del x x you have one plus del del y y you have one del del z k you have one so it's three. Okay, because if I'm calling at this step f x y z everything in term of t that's why we del del k del del x everything here is zero. So this one for 
So you have to do the okay, calling the okay, div uh, the divergence. Then, well, I mean, after it gets a divergence, then this is a del dot f dv. Uh, then put out the limit. So, <clears throat> so you have to do okay, the divergence of f here first. And then question B, solve the electric flux through a paraboloid. Okay, question B, you want to use, okay, Gauss theorem also can, or you want to, okay, evaluate your flux. So F dot N, ds across the phase S. If you're not using divergence theorem, then you need to define the F, okay, in vector field. Okay, getting the unit normal vector. I mean the F. Unit normal vector, you got the normal vector, negative zx, negative zy, this positive one. Okay, this one divide by this square root, okay, is uh, zx squared plus zy squared plus one. Okay, cancel with the ds, you got the zx squared plus zy squared plus one dA. This one cancel out. Okay, so again, okay, from z, okay, you need to do the partial derivative. And then key in into your vector field here and do the dot product. If you're not using the Kit Gauss theorem. Okay, question 4a identify the work K. So this is K uh, against doing the dot product f dot dr. Right? Okay, explain just now here. F dot dr. Okay, key in the okay, electric field here. And then I uh, think here. So you have to divide it into curve C1, C2. C1, what is a parametric equation for x, where parametric equation for your y. Right. Then we'll keep calling back your vector field E, then you get your okay, vector field E. So from the x, okay, mean you need to define what is the x there, what is the y there. Call the x, uh, the r is actually you have x i uh, y j, and you find the dr, and then so okay, uh, you define the f initially in terms of x y z, okay. After that, you call back your f x y z, then you do the dot product, okay. So okay, first of all, you have to do manually, and then you instruct it okay step by step in software in software I mean there's some sample vector field in terms of x y z okay then this is a uh, okay r vector r uh, but here r i didn't uh, i didn't use the uh, Okay, if r is not function d r, uh, never mind. You just ddt r. If r is a function, you ddt r t. So you're finding the dot product. Okay, here uh, I use a substitutes. Substitutes. Or better, uh, like this one. Just now. Okay, this way will be better. Get the x k from the component i, uh, component i from vector value function y from number two, z from number two. Okay, or okay, or any ways, uh, as long as you can instruct it. Okay, do it step by step. So, any questions here for the software part? Okay, uh, the mistake is just now, RT is not, uh, you no need to call it as a vector field. Eh? No, no need to call as a vector field because it is only vector, it's not a field because RT is only vector value function. This one is okay, uh, in 3D space, eh? this is a curve only. So RT is curve, it's not called vector field, so just okay, um, like this. Eh? Cos pi t i plus sin pi t j plus eight t k. And then uh, if you want to call back x k as a 
first component, so RT square bracket 1, R, okay, Y is the second component of a vector value function, RT, Z, Z, third component, so your F, X, Y, Z, mean, okay, we, we restart, to see, restart, with vector calculus, set coordinate, okay, F is a, okay, vector field, so we call it as vector field, X, Y, Z, so that we can plot it, okay, plot its graph, okay, later, then this one you can call divergent of vector f, curl, okay, curl of vector f. Okay, r is only vector value function. It is okay, a curve. R is curve. But this one is not curve, it's a field, vector field. Like your okay, um like your uh what uh, magnetic field. Uh. So RT is only vector value function, so no need vector field there. Mm. So so now, okay, F already substitute everything in terms of parametric equation of T. So we're calling with plots. So to plot the okay, vector RT using the space curve. So this is a, okay, the vector RT. Calling back your RT. And you can, okay, D, okay, DR, you DDT the RT. You can find the dot product of your F. Okay, and then you can do the line integral of f dot, okay, because f dot dr is safe in the variable f, huh? so you can do the, okay, the line, uh, vec line integral of vector field, this one, the line integral of vector field. Okay, and just now, you see, uh, so, okay. F vector field, so like this, you can plot, okay? So if 3D, then you plot, okay? Field plot 3D. If F is two dimension, then field plot 2D. So this like your, okay, the magnetic field. Okay? So we, okay, uh, end it here. Thank you.